Happy Sunday. I'm KHAU 11 meteorologist Kim Castro. We are watching radar this morning. Very different start to the day than yesterday. In fact, we got some showers that are moving in. They are starting to wind down a little bit, but we are watching some flashes of lightning, some quick heavy downpours. I want to let you know when they'll be passing through your area. I know you've got some Sunday plans in the works. Perhaps you're headed to church or perhaps you're headed to breakfast. Those brunch plans, I'll get you ready for them. Okay, so by around 9 30 ish we'll start to see these storms pushing into spring 10 minutes before that they'll get to richmond downtown area i think right before the 10 o'clock hour you'll start to see some of these yellows and oranges some quick heavy downpours before they move off towards the east these storms are moving at around 30 miles an hour so they'll be quick to get in here and quick to move out of the way too so we can at least enjoy a more dry Sunday though it is going to stay cloudy throughout the day and we are watching some storms to continue to the south Friendswood by around 10 30 right now Katy area you are getting some moderate to heavy downpours you're seeing some flashes of lightning there so you're definitely hearing that rubble of thunder attics you're starting to see some shower activity more on the lighter side further to the north that's the heavier downpour into Cypress Jersey Village you'll be next Mission Bend you're starting to see some of that heavier rain get to your areas well, Pecan Grove, you're kind of dodging some of the heavier stuff. It's to the north of you right now and to the southwest, but definitely along uh, 99 and Loop in the Beltway, you'll start to see some of that heavier activity too. Right now, Northwest Freeway towards Spring Cypress Road, you got a little cluster of some heavier rain, so definitely make sure you've got those windshield wipers going as you head over to church this morning. Tomball to Oklahoma, you're starting to see some of the heavier rain. The Woodlands seeing some shower activity too. Let's go a little bit further north, North Freeway to New Waverly. You're seeing either some light to moderate and heavier rain as you head a little bit further towards the east. Uh, and that's going to continue just for the next couple of hours. As you can tell behind it, we're not filling back in that shower activity. It's just going to move through a sweeping motion and then get out of the way by around 11 o'clock this morning for all of us for our Liberty County. Number of strikes over the last 10 minutes. It's not a hugely charged area of storms, but you'll notice it's not the case to the further southwest. And I'll talk about that in a moment, but the majority of the showers that are passing through the area, yes, you will see the flashes of lightning, but not consistently. Certainly not like what we saw with that last uh, storm event there. 200 strikes of the last 10 minutes. And I'll take a moment to tell you the differentiation between negative and positive strikes. Positive strikes come from the top of the cloud. Negative strikes come from the bottom. And so by nature, because these positive ones travel a longer distance, they have more intensity. They're actually 10 times stronger than the negative ones. And the reason we like to keep track of the count is because if we see more positive strikes, then we know the storm's getting some intensity. Right now we're seeing more negative strikes and that's a good sign and it reflects that on radar. You're starting to see the storms had a little bit more strength when they started to move in and now they're starting to taper just a little bit. Mm, but you know, we'll have to watch that consistently over the next few minutes because while they simmer down, they pick up the pace just a little bit, but it's a pretty thin line that we're watching right now. Not the case, the further southwest we go, especially towards our coastal areas, that's gonna be the spot that we'll have to watch for a little while longer in the that's because we do have a disturbance that's pushing towards South Texas and along the way it is looking to clip some of our areas uh, for our Sunday. So right now, Palacios to El Campo, you got quite a bit of lightning, some heavier rain, the reds rainfall rates of about an inch to two, maybe three per hour. Of course, it's not lasting here the whole hour, so it is going to move out of the way. That being said, because you have the potential to see more rain for a prolonged period of time, you could accumulate that one to two inches of rain for today. So uh, it is going to be an area that you'll have to be more mindful when it comes to making those Sunday plans. Let's go through future track for our Sunday. So I want to point something out to you, though. Our models have not been doing well with picking up this disturbance here to the south or this front we've got to the north. Uh, this is what it's showing that we have on radar. And as I just showed you, 
It's not what's actually happening. We've got rain right now through the city center. So we got to take this model run with the grain of salt. This is the general idea of what to expect for the remainder of the day, but we will certainly have to watch it and fine tune it here in house to make sure uh, we are just keeping you updated as we get the latest runs. But here we go. Uh, over the next half hour to an hour, we'll continue to see shower activity, the heavier stuff along the coast of so Matagorda, Brazoria, potentially Wharton. You'll start to see shower taper around the two o'clock hour. Everyone else will see that rain wrap up much sooner. I think right around lunchtime you'll be good to go. It's still going to be cloudy though and you could catch a little drizzle. Like I mentioned, the main focal point with these strong storms is going to be South Texas. They're under a level three on the one to five scale to see strong storms, they could see large hail. They could see those gusts at 75 miles an hour. That is hurricane force gusts. And as we start to get closer to our area, we are clipped with that one threat. So the lowest end threat, it means it's not likely that we're going to see stronger storms, but it's not out of the question. So I think the biggest potential for us would be some stronger wind, maybe 40 miles an hour, and then that small hail, maybe pea sized. Hour by hour forecast, like I mentioned, lunch hours when I suspect that the moisture chance really starts to drop off. Temperatures are going to stay cool for today because we've got the cloud cover we're not really going to allow that solar radiation heat us up. So mid to upper 60s, I think that's about it for the warm up today. We should be in the low 80s. That's average for this time of year. So if we get lucky, maybe some of us push up to 70 degrees. In addition to the cloud cover and that 40% chance for some storms, we are gonna be on the breezy side at times. Sustained wind is gonna be right around 15 miles an hour, but we could see some gusts at around 25 miles an hour. Here's a seven day. I just wanna show you this because we do have to watch for quite a few rain chances this week, uh, especially a Tuesday and into early uh, Wednesday, rather. We have the potential for some stronger storm development there. And then as we head into Friday and Saturday, things are going to clear up nicely. Since we've got some extra time here on Live Radar, and in case you are just tuning in right now, I'm going to go back to Radar and show you what's going on, not just here locally, but across the state, so you can get a general idea as to what other showers we could see streaming in throughout the day. So that's a good wide view of our area. As you'll notice, right, be starting to pick up with that uh, lightning and the downpours, but we zoom out, you'll notice there's a lot going on. First and foremost, nice electrified area there for uh, central South Texas, pushing into Corpus Christi area here soon. And you go further west, Laredo has this thunderstorm warned cell, and that one is very interesting. So this is the cluster of storms that is gonna be pushing into South Texas and why the area is under that uh, level three potential for some strong to severe storms. So let's just take a look at what it's doing right now. So some 200,000 people are under this polygon of uh, warning area and because I'm seeing purple on that quadrant so typically when we see yellows oranges reds that signals heavy rain when I start to see purple uh, the reflectivity that the radar is picking up that usually signals some hail so let's check it out we'll turn on hail tracks oh yeah lots of hail let's loop it there over the last two hours yeah, so you could see there's a little legend to the top that will estimate the size of the hail that radar picks up on. And, you know, it, it could be tennis ball sized hail, baseball sized hail. Now, this does take the measurement or the assessment pretty high up um, in the atmosphere. So it does melt before reaching the ground. So it, it is typically smaller than that, but not to take away from the fact that that's some sizable hail that we're seeing there. So again, that's that threat. You could see even through the hail tracks that it is moving pretty much, I wouldn't say due south, but it's definitely south, south, uh, what, east rather, south, southeast. A couple more hail tracks with some of the storms that we're seeing. And there was a thunderstorm, severe thunderstorm warning there for uh, the Quero area earlier this morning. So back to the main 
point for us locally, we are going to have to watch the coast because we could see some of these stronger storms clip us. But for the most part, the activity is well away from our area. We'll just be clipped by kind of this, this cluster of storms that's pushing into the Corpus Christi area. So we're just kind of on the tail end of that right there. And then the shower activity here, again, sweeping out of the way. There's another front that's in Waco. There's a lot of kind of isolated spots to watch across the Lone Star State for today. This area had the potential to sink in a couple of showers here, and we're seeing that there. But for the most part, it's just going to be that light to moderate shower activity. So we're seeing that right there. So Conroe to Cleveland to Spring, you're kind of being impacted by that front there to the north. And yeah, it's, it's thin. It's definitely uh, giving us some electricity, so some lightning strikes there. But if you notice, if we turn on um, hail tracks, there's nothing to worry about there. If we turn on um, velocity just to look at kind of some of the wind. So yeah, there's some there's some breezes with with the push of these storms, but right around 20 miles an hour, nothing more than that. Yeah, I just took a couple couple of samples there of the wind. Um, but yeah, so so in terms of your Sunday, you'll definitely want to grab an umbrella out the door, especially if you've got early Sunday plans. And if you're along the coast, you might have to be watching that radar for just a little while longer and watching for a couple of heavier downpours. Definitely another light show right around Palacios and Old Campo for now. But I'll be keeping a close eye on radar. And if I, if I see any updates and um, if I see any couple of storms that might be giving us more lightning or more rainfall for a prolonged period of time, I'll be sure to update us on social media. So just be sure you're following KHOU. We are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, we are on Instagram. I have all those platforms myself as well. Just look for Kim Castro and look for KHOU as well. We'll see you then, have a great Sunday.